Well, Butterscotch did it again. She's gone through a shed, kind of blew up her cage. She just always does this. I don't really know why. We've got to probably get the humidity up a little bit higher in this enclosure. She's fired up. Even just sitting here right here, look at she's coming up. But today I'm going to take my knowledge of dealing with Butterscotch and big snakes and I'm going to actually help Mike and Connie take Butterscotch out so that we can get her clean because uh, got to get done. And actually over the last little bit, Noah's been the one that's been wrangling Butterscotch. He just jumps in there and goes at it, right? Yeah. We're doing it again? Whoa. Whoa. You got to know. No, actually, no, as much as I appreciate you doing it, I want to make sure Mike and Connie can do it because if you're not here and it needs yeah. to get done, you know, Mike has the ability, there's no doubt about it, but we'll maybe put Connie a little more to the test on this one. What do you think? Sure you don't want my help, Mike? No, I, I think we got it. You can do like some of the smallest things. I think Luna's got some people in there if you want to take care of that. Okay. I know it's more your speed. So the first thing we need to do because she's a little bit stuck in shed is once we get her out is to actually put her in some water so she can soak. We're probably going to soak her for about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Then we actually have to deal with a big butterscotch that's super slippery because she's all wet. That should be fun. <laughs> Okay, Connie, where are you going? No you ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> so I did notice she looks a little bit fired up, but she's got a big lump from Neil, so she might be a little bit slowed down, right? Obviously, snake hooks, very good idea. She's going to be a food reactive animal. So the first like thing you're you could do. Like right in front of me. So with a food reactive animal, what you want to do is always take that snake hook and mm -hmm. just kind of touch their head. Don't push them or poke them or anything. Just make sure they know you're not food. So go ahead and open up. I think her head's right over here. Can you share the rock with me, Mike? No, this rock isn't big enough for the both of us. I don't yeah. see. Oh, her head's there. All right, so open up the cage first. Let's mm -hmm. see what happens. Connie, don't move. You're, you're coming there. You're part of this. <laughs> you're part of this. You can go that way. Yeah. You're going to have a longer way to reach her. Okay. I think I'd go the other way. I just I'm following Mike's lead. Back up then. Okay. Careful your head, Mr. Ryan. What if she rocket shoots All out right, of so there? now come over here and just go up on that rock. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't like that. She kind of like went like this. Yeah. So she's getting ready to strike. So we're just going to do this and we're going to go just a little bit and now she's going to start moving. What you want to do is get her running, right? As soon as she's starting to run and not thinking defensive strike, now you can actually grab her. Grab her. Now get in there, Connie. You're going to need help. She's got a good lump too, so we don't want to manhandle her too much. Oh. So what do you got, Mike? All right? Yes, she... she's too far. Too far? I'm not that tall, Mr. Brown. All right, so who's going inside the cage? You're really going in there. We got to get her out. The nervous highest pitch. We got to get her. Okay. So let me assess the situation for you sure. guys. Let's see, you might be able to get her to come. Definitely agitated. I'm just gonna see if we can prod her to come back this way. Come on, Connie, what are you doing? Nice she's going up her. above that. Now she's coming over to us, which is good. Not happy. Oh, she is. Brian, why is she like not that friendly? She's just defensive is what she is. Are you in this, Connie? Taking notes. Okay, she's walking her away. Back. Yeah, that's the problem. He pulls the back of the cage because she doesn't want to come out. And this would happen. Sometimes, guys, she'll come right up to the front. You can grab her, get her out really easy. And sometimes she's like she is now where she's pretty defensive and she's trying to stay at the back of the enclosure because she knows the gig. She's a smart snake. All right, so Mike's kind of got her a little bit, but he's got that midsection. I'm going to have to just get towards the front of the head because she's just going to keep running away. She's a fast snake. She's hard to keep going. Looks like Mike's going, in, going oh, into God, the belly of the beast. Crazy. Be here right here when she comes out because you got to yeah. grab the other end, get yeah. her in that water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's okay, here we go. Job. Ready, Connie? No, wait, what? Yep, just right. Yep, just take her front. She's fine. She's not doing anything. She's fine. She's not going to do anything. Right here, you got it. Yep, just keep it coming. Now we just want to move her. Where that lump is, you're going to want to support just a little bit. Oops, this is the best thing to happen. So we're just going to let it go. She's going through the chair. Yep, we're just going to let okay? it. Yep, we're gonna have, now we have no choice but to let her go through. Sorry, but yeah, Once she's out, she's pretty good. Yeah. You don't have to be too concerned about her. So we're just going to turn around this way. Fit we're just going to get her in the water. Keep her head, keep her head, keep her head. Yeah, once she's moving, she ain't gonna do much. She's so strong. I'm doing good. I'm doing my part. Practice makes perfect. All right. Careful your head. Yep, go. Well, I wouldn't say it was a masterpiece by any stretch, but uh, we, we did, did it. Good. So now Thanks. we just gotta clean the cage up, let her soak for an hour or so, get that shed off, and get her back in. Should be good. You guys did all right. <laughs> All right, I got delegated to a little snake job. Look how much different this is. That little piece of shed right there. Good. Just gonna spot clean a little bit, make sure that, oh, another one. It's a mess. Can't even believe that. Oh, there we go. There's one more. How bad she blew this cage out. I mean, for a snake this size, to do that much damage is incredible. This is looking about good. Did you hear that? Mike, are you gonna vacuum her? <laughs> I just got her out. I'm, it's just cause I'm kind of busy. Okay. <laughs> That's important. Look at this. You see all this on the ladder? I've never cleaned a ladder before. You got a little...
shed everywhere. It's crazy. And you might ask yourself, why do we have a snake like Butterscotch in a cage that's kind of face level? Well, when we first put her in, she was much smaller and she was actually a lot more docile too. She wasn't as defensive, so it kind of worked out perfect. And then we started to realize that whole catching the rabbit out of the air thing, it just is so cool, you know, not only for us to film, for you guys and stuff like that, but sometimes during open hours, I'll actually do it where, you know, I have people around and we'll throw that rabbit up and catch it. It's just a really cool thing. And the thing is, you are enclosures. We're trying to make them as kind of naturalistic as possible so that they have tendencies that they would in the wild. Now, reticulate the pythons in the wild will oftentimes live in caves and other places where they're hanging out up top and then shooting down and grabbing things like rats or bats even all kinds of different stuff this is kind of her natural instinct to do that so that's why we keep her there because i just think it's such a cool cool thing to see oh all right you guys just leave messes for me to clean up i swear it's just not fair Gabrillo, you're being a bad boy. You've got time to serve still. He's like, I'll break free again. And then what I like to do is I just spread it out like that. Ah, that's good. And of course, we're trying to do that with all our enclosures here and across the street even more so. Look at Ivy. You know, this is basically a natural instinct, right? They're going to spend the majority of their time in the Amazon River. So we have this water feature here that she can actually kind of just sit in. And of course, she not only eats in it typically, but also she just had a big meal. You can see how fat she is right now. She's actually using that water to help digest a little bit, as well as to make buoyancy, right? Because if she's on land, all that pressure from that meal is on her body. Now that she's in the water, it makes her feel better, right? So it brings out like natural behavior that you would see in the water wild and that's what we're really always striving to do you know i tell you what the worst part about having a snake with two heads is double the work no he's coming whoa whoa, whoa a little bit aggressive there benji nope calm down you think that i'm the problem you guys got two heads <laughs> like what's that even supposed to mean god that was hard Of course, I've told you guys about the blackheads too. You know, where they're from in Australia, you're gonna typically see these rocky ledges and stuff like that, right? And they're gonna kind of bury themselves in the ledges. I've talked about that blackhead being a thermal regulator, right? Where their whole body can be inside of a rock formation, but just their head is out absorbing the sun, heating their entire body. As we're learning more about the behavior of the animals and the enclosures we're making, we're learning how to do it even better. That's why we're gonna really apply the majority of our knowledge that we gained over the last five years into the stuff across the street at the aquarium so that these enclosures are even that much higher and we want two things out of it right we want the animals to look as cold as possible in the enclosure but we also want them to behave as naturalistically as possible which is really cool and that's what we're always trying to achieve a little update on my guy brillo here of course we fixed his enclosure the other day and he's finally back in it which i know he's really happy about looks like it's all good to go hey buddy you doing okay sweetie you silly monkey you looks like it's all good he cured up he's definitely not going to burrow through this one looks like he even tried to start to burrow a little here but he couldn't get very far so he's in pretty good shape here again i can not wait till he has a big giant room that he can play with and we can interact with him in. But for the meantime, he's doing pretty good. And now it looks like we finally have his enclosure sealed up to the point where he's not gonna get out. You're so naughty, you little monkey, you. Mike's always complaining about cleaning the anacondas. But honestly, I don't really see much of a problem here. There you go. Three hour job, that took like three seconds. I tell you what, Mike's gotta do better. I'm gonna have to have a talk to him. While you're in here and you're vacuuming out of the shed and you make sure there's no poop, there's no urate, you scrub everything you need to scrub, fluff up the bed. It always enriches and it's good enrichment for the snake because it's like new smells, whether it's the bedding that she hasn't smelled in a while, you know, just kind of fluffing everything up. It always makes it look naturalistic too because you're never like walking in the woods and all the leaves are padded nice and flat. No, you just, they're all over the place. So just fluff up the bedding. It's good enrichment. They get the smells back. That's just something I learned a long time ago and I love doing that. <laughs> Why is this cage so hot? It's really hot in here though. Hey, how's it going? What? You have a scale flake on your own. Let me flick it off for you. That's just my skin. Oh, ew. <laughs> Why is it like... It's for a reptile. Oh, God. That's a big dandruff. Well then. Why? I gotta get down off the ladder, Condor. <laughs> you can't get my down the ladder with this. I know you hate me. Oh, all this heavy lifting today. Freaking back is sore. I don't know how I'm gonna do this one. You gotta be careful with a guy like this size. You know, I use my snake stick. Goodness, you would not believe. Camera doesn't do this justice, guys. It only looks like it's less than a pound. But I tell you what, it's gotta be at least one. Oh! Ah! 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 All right, I don't even, it looks actually perfect in there. I don't even know why I opened it. the easy part or the hard part don't really know getting her back she's going to be wet she's going to be slippery but she usually cooperates pretty well right you can hear her already <laughs> yeah. is she angry 
No, she'll be fine. So she still got some shit on her head. What do you recommend in these situations? Yeah, she's upset right now. Make sure all of this is cleared off. Yeah. Trying to support the, the rabbit. Well, she's got some stuck shed still on her head. Hey, 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 a little too close to cover. Yes. Oh, yeah. Butterscotch Happy did good. Happy little camper. She just had a little bit of stuck shed on her head. We had to get that all off really good, but she did really, really well. So now just uh, have to get her back in, support that rabbit a little bit. There you go, gotta grab the heavy part. All right. Get her head right back up in here. There we go. Well, guys, I think you did a pretty good job. I'm pretty impressed. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, you guys are good. <laughs> Best crew around. I look like I peed myself. Don't go touching the glass, Condor. Oh, Sheesh. Uh, another day, another dollar. Good job. Oh man, that's way too big. Oh. Oh. And having a crew that's willing to step up and learn as much as they are so that they can do things when I'm not here is really what's gonna help me get through this. I can't be more proud of everyone in the entire crew that has stepped up so much for me to help me through this. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, what?